Greetings and salutations, and welcome back to our Let's Play of EU4 with Red Bastard and his Congo. So I think I have to cite against our merchant guilds here. They have just way too much influence, and now they'll be upset with us. We're not developing. We probably do actually make a lot of our money off trade, yeah. But not the majority, because we're behind on tech. It's not that efficient in trading. Go ahead and get this army down here. I can see that they have a fort there, they have a fort there. The army is probably in here, here, I would guess. Get all these guys up here. We're going to want to invade them on the first of the month. Oh, they start paying their troops. I think they know it's coming. And we're going to break that in half. Do they even have an army? 23,000, so not really. But officially they do. And it's up here. And over there. But they only have a capital fort. So once we capture this, it's all downhill for them. I'm going to take all their coastal territory, by the way. And of course, this fort and the center of trade, I want to leave them cut off from everyone else, that no one else can prey upon them. Okay, let's start putting in some more manpower buildings. So all those ones are 250 and 375 we're eventually going to fill in. Admin tech up. And they're just occupying worthless stuff. We don't really have any war score from battles. But once we have their two forts, we really shouldn't need it. Okay, we have 90% religious unity because of our tolerance of heathens being as high as it is right now. Go a long way. Go ahead and take this and then we'll go hunting. Let's put in some more buildings. Two seventy-five up there. Two seventy-five. 50. And then we should just start saving up our money for the Enlightenment. Oh, we went down fast.
Okay, so they didn't last very long. Go ahead and liberate this territory just so they can't build mercs and then do anything like that. And they can on the islands out here, Zanzibar, be occupied. No, they didn't. I thought they did. They didn't. And we'll just start building up some spy power over here. I'm going to build up spy power here. We still don't have a lot of manpower. Keep upgrading those. I think that's the last of our outdated ships until we get caught up on tech. We might have some outdated trade ships. Nope, not yet. Okay, 100%. Now let's go ahead and, as I said, we're taking our coast. And our borders look better, we're taking that. It's 95, and then we'll take their money. What if we left you with the province? We get more money from you? Close this out. This isn't extremely valuable to us right now. Yeah, we can only get 50 ducats more. I'm not going to pass up that province for 50 ducats. Bust this fort and get all these guys up to Ethiopia. Put them all into Jura, and they're probably not paying these forts, so we'll attack them. Try to capture them right away. I'm going to come in from this side as well. Try to capture this fort. And again, Bella with the other army. Rally to Rwanda. So that's unfortunate. But Rwanda needed to be taken down at some point anyway. So we're going to attack them and isolate them. They could always choose to remain our faithful ally. But if they choose Ethiopia's side, that's really up to them. We can get that fort defense up, because that could save our lives. Okay, Cairo gets local defensiveness for the rest of the game. This is exactly what we want. Okay, did they start paying their forts? Not that one, not that one, not that one, and not that one. That was foolish of them. Okay, we are doing a holy war, and we're not going to call on anyone. Let's go ahead and move these guys there, these guys over there, these guys here, these guys there. We'll move these guys up onto Rwanda's capital. Actually, we'll only send half because we don't have that much manpower. Okay, Persia, we're going to bump up your trust. You now you join in. Like our trust to be higher first. That's our priority. So we should capture four of their forts right away. We didn't get this one. 
should have sent 12 and 12, but yeah, kind of expected that. The Gambella fell. I should put this guy up. And this one up to these higher lands. Quick last, uh, just wipe out their trips and see if we could get them to do something dumb. Close in on them. Spain is attacking Cusco. Let's just see if Spain's hostile towards us at present. No, we don't have the greatest relations. They're not hostile. Trust is really low. They're not hostile. And that led... Oh, LD drop. Okay, I don't really need institutions to spread. Diplo rep would be kind of nice. Discipline would be nice, but I'm going to go with walk for the National Unrest minus two. For Persia. For Bermanis. Okay, let's go ahead and attack him here. And we're going to upgrade the ships once they're in this news. Okay, false alarm. We're not going to give chase after that. We just wanted some war score and we wanted them off of our little target here. Let's go ahead and get a couple of units of marks and we'll start filling that colony in. We can get this. Why don't we move up here, see if we could engage them. Don't really want to lose much more manpower. What's your enthusiasm? It's still high. Look at these outdated forts. Well, these two are outdated. Okay, Rwanda, let's peace you out. All I want is you to break off your alliances. We took Gondor, so let's move up here. Now we're going to increase our aid to natives. Didn't quite my wipe them out.
Okay, I don't know where they're retreating. Come on. He went out. Okay, so we isolated them and took 500 ducats from them. We'll move these guys back over here to liberate that stuff that they had occupied on behalf of Ethiopia. We do have 79 war scores, so we could take basically everything from them we would like to take. And we're going to save up for the institution. Let's move these guys back up. Cairo and Alexandria. So we'll give them slightly different paths, waste some time so that they don't get caught on each other. And these guys are going to wait over here. So 38 worth of stuff. I want to know what we can. Uh, we'll, we'll take a look once we get that stuff cored in August. Six came home. Not great. Let's build up a spy network here again for the purposes of espionage. And now we can see quite a bit of Europe. No oh, Bohemia. I have a fondness for Bohemia. Great Enlightenment, of course, did not spawn in our country. We didn't expect it to because of our government type. It spawned in Madrid. Should cost us quite a bit. 0.3 per month. Ooh, that's not growing very quickly at all. Nice. Could we abolish? Once we get our overextension under control, we sure can. And that would be good. Slaves do give us something. They give us that local missionary strength. That's really about it. And their price is currently 2.2, so they're low. Anyone that turns into ivory, for instance, is a win for us. Who's upset? Halib. And then everywhere held by our merchant guilds, of course. Ever give this to our merchant guilds? Yes. Okay, let's make our merchant guilds happy with us. And now we should see these particular eyes go away. I think I drink half this video. Not speaking clearly. Ooh, killed my marks again. Again. Here's with Egypt. Okay, so we could take 65 worth of stuff. Her enthusiasm is medium. Let's let it drop to low. And we'll tug their code about peace deal. Try to get our war exhaustion down and our manpower back up. Uh, 
Okay, 65. So we want that fort, definitely. Get our way down to that fort. Try to get that fort. That's over 65, though. That's only 47. Well, that's a lot. Okay. 63. We're going to take their money. We could beat them up by returning stuff. But that would cost us Diplo. I don't want to do that. Let's get more portions here. Okay, so this is about as good as we can do. And I'm pretty happy with that. Fort Buster. And Halibe. Yeah, just leave me alone, Halibe. Tired of your nonsense. I gotta move these guys up here and these guys over here just to suppress Rebels down. We'll get some inflation. We need that cash. And we can grant them monopolies to make them like us more. Can I ask him for a contribution for another four years? We can't get this for another four years, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to let them tick up naturally. 50. And we're only 16,000 manpower in the hole. Ottomans are attacking Egypt. We have to do this first. So sorry, Ottomans. Ooh, I could totally vassalize them and call everyone in defensively against Ottomans. But we don't have any manpower, so I'm hesitant to do that. And should I? I bring in Russia, Bamanis, Persia. Against Ottomans, and I think just Ottomans. No, Ottomans and Tunis. And could we win that? Maybe. I could feed all this back. That might be my move. Just don't have much manpower. Okay, let's get these guys over here, and we'll we'll plan it out. Go ahead and revoke their access. Okay, we don't give them it. I'm not sure how they're moving through my territory. Should assault that fort <laughs> using up their manpower. Okay, let's go for this manpower guy at the moment.
Okay, should we try for the cyanide? No, I think we'd want to attack him here in Minya. Okay, let's get into position. Okay, I think this is our move, yeah. Okay, let's see how long has this video been going on. Uh, 26 minutes, so let's stop the video here.